Uh, so, um, like I said, you know, some of them are like uh, some of them. Uh, the viruses, the HPV virus, will just cause warts. So these warts can just be excised. Like I said, you know, you can do a cryoablation, you can do uh, a biopsy, and uh, just remove them. But some of the lesions, which supposing they come back, the pathologist gives you a report that yes, it's positive. Uh, then we would again use these other tests to see if it's it's a cancer which is limited to the cervix. And there's a grading which is done one A, one B, two, uh, three, four. You know that sort of they give you a stage for the cancer. Depending on that, if it's like one and two, that means it's only spread to the cervix and maybe a little bit of the vagina. Then we will excise it. Like I said, instead of doing a biopsy, the complete thing will be excised. Okay. However, if it has spread further away from that. Then we need to remove the entire of the uterus, and sometimes not just a hysterectomy, but also oophorectomy. That means removing both the ovaries and the vagina. So that goes into the category of radical hysterectomy. And post that, we also do some lymph node dissection. Unfortunately, in very advanced cases, if it involves the rectum, if it involves the urinary bladder, we need to do something which is known as a pelvic exenteration, which means removing all these organs en masse. And um, you know we'll have to do other surgeries so that the woman will be able to pass urine, pass stools. Um, and post all of this, they're given chemo. Chemo is the common uh, drugs that we use: carboplatin, cisplatin, ifosfosfamide, uh, gemcitabine. And uh, we also use radiation therapy. The radiation therapy can be of two types: it can be external beam radiation, that means externally it's being given to the woman over the pelvis and the pelvic area. We also now have internal beam radiation, wherein there are seeds or wires which are inserted into the vagina, and uh, that directly, you know, uh, only in that local area the radiation would spread, not causing so much, uh, you know, skin burns and all those other complications that come in with radiation to the other parts of the pelvis. So now um, we've advanced with all those uh, things. So yeah, in a nutshell, I think these are the main things that we do for treatment. But uh, definitely, like if you if it's caught in the early stages, the survival rate is as high as ninety one percent. Even if it's caught when it's like locally spread, the survival is as high as sixty seven percent. However, if it spreads to like the organs, like I said, the rectum, urinary bladder, then it really falls down to nineteen to twenty percent. But like cervical cancer, is something which is really preventable, and even if caught early with all these screening measures that we just spoke about, it's very, very uh, the five year survival is very high. So uh, that's a very good thing. The prognosis is great. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe, and press the bell icon.